This episode of Techno Buffalo is brought to you by lynda.com. What's up everyone? Welcome back to the episode of Rumor Roundup. This is the show where we take all the tech news from the week and there are a ton of rumors this week. And we pick the four or five best and share them with you in one condensed video. Up this week, the Nexus 5 was possibly revealed inadvertently or advertently in a Google video. Apple's developing some weird 17 watt power adapter for some crazy new device. The Moto X might get a price drop to a cool Hyundai and the Surface Pro 2 might be on the horizon. This is Rumor Roundup. I'm John Rettinger. Let's go ahead and get started. The Nexus 5 possibly revealed in a new Google video. So the story goes like this. Google surprised everyone by calling the next version of Android KitKat. We all just assumed it was going to be Key Lime Pie, which is not only delicious, but also not what the name ended up being. No one had any idea it was gonna be KitKat. So Google put out a video showing them erecting a KitKat statue on their campus, and they showed all the employees all excited about this crazy and probably delicious KitKat statue, including one guy holding a phone with the Nexus logo totally done in landscape. If you look at the Nexus 4, it's in portrait. And the back is a matte finish as opposed to the Nexus 4, which has sort of that glossy glass looking reflecting thing on it. So the internet's went up in a buzz and was like, oh, does he have the Nexus 5 out on campus? And did Google not notice that? And yeah, it's possible. I would guess though that it's Google totally messing with bloggers. And to sort of follow the steps of what happens next after a leak gets unveiled, they took the video down. Google's been playing this game for many, many years. I would guess they're probably messing with us. I will say though, the device looks eerily similar to the Sony Z1. Not saying Sony's making the next Nexus, just it looks very, very similar. Apple's supposedly developing a weird 17 watt power adapter. We don't usually cover power adapters, but this one is kind of unique. According to the folks at Apple Insider, citing people familiar with the matter, they are claiming that Apple released a brand new product besides the iPhone or iPad in the next 12 months, although it's totally unclear what the device is going to be. So in case you're saying to yourself, John, 17 watts, what does that equal? So the current iPad comes with a 12 watt adapter, whereas the MacBook Air uses a 45 watt adapter. So 17 seems like too much power for a watch and not enough power for a new computer. So what the heck is it gonna be for? Perhaps maybe a giant iPad or a touchscreen laptop, doubt it's for a television. Uh, but it would be cool if Apple totally surprised us with a one more thing of a product we had no idea about but it could come in the next 12 months, so I wouldn't hold your breath for that September 10th event. Have you been looking at that Moto X and being like, man, I wish I could make my own smartphone in bright red with yellow accents with a white front? Well, you might be in luck and your patience might have paid off. According to our good friend Evie Leaks on his Twitter account, you should give him a follow, at Evie Leaks, the Moto X price drop to 100 coming in Q4 along with wooden back configurations for 50 bucks. So your patience is going to pay off. Go ahead and put a lot of credence to this one and put it about as close to fact as we can before Motorola actually announced it themselves. And last but not least, something I'm oddly excited about, and I had to do an updated review on the Surface Pro. I've actually been using it as my dedicated computer at home for the past three weeks, and honestly, I really enjoyed it. It's taken me about 10 days to get that learning curve of Windows 8, and I really appreciate it now. I think it's only fair to update that review. So I digress, that will be coming soon, but it looks like my sweet baby Surface Pro might be getting a new older brother as its sequel might be coming very soon. Upgrades are supposed to be a Haswell-based Core i5 with increased RAM, giving consumers the option to choose between four or eight gigs, which eight gigs would be awesome. Supposedly have kind of the same design as the current Surface Pro with a more refined kickstand. Win Supersight says the Surface Pro 2 will definitely be more than a modest upgrade with improved battery life and upgraded specs. We don't know when it's going to come, but if you do the math, the holiday season's coming up very quickly. It would only make sense for Microsoft to release this sometime at end of October, early November, so you can go buy it for your friends, your family, or yourself for Christmas, Hanukkah, or any other holiday that you might celebrate in December. We take a minute to thank our friends and sponsors to help keep our lights on at lynda.com. If you don't know what they are, they are an online learning company with over 77,000 video tutorials that teach software, creative skills, and business skills. It's a membership service that starts at 25 bucks per month, provides unlimited 24 seven access to top quality video courses, taught by expert instructors with real world experience. You can learn anytime, anywhere at your own pace from little bite-sized tutorials to comprehensive courses in pretty much everything. From web design to programming to photography, business, 3D and animation, and a ton more. New courses are added every week. The training library keeps pace with today's fast changing technical and software skills. If you want to learn something new, it's a good place to go to check out. 
A save and prioritize courses with your queue for whenever you're ready to watch and track your progress in each. Learn on the go with their optimized mobile site or free iPhone and iPad app for members. To give it a shot, try lynda.com for free for seven days by visiting lynda.com slash technobuffalo. And that's L-Y-N-D-A dot com slash technobuffalo. Thank you guys for watching the episode of Rumor Roundup. It's the show where I talk with my hands and we talk about technology. Hope you guys enjoyed. Please be sure to give us a thumbs up if you liked the video and check us out at technobuffalo.com for the latest and greatest tech news. Until next time, I'm John Rettinger. I'll see you in the next video. What's up everyone, John here. Just wanted to let you know that if you liked what you just saw, we've got two other shows that go live every single week. Ask the Buffalo, where our very own Ashley Escada answers your burning gadget questions and Rettinger's Rants, where quite obviously I go off on things that bug me across consumer tech. If you want to see me get super red-faced and mad, you should click the text below that says subscribe and check out our other shows by clicking right over here. I'll see you guys next time.